Alright, yeah, welcome back to some more Magic Arena. We are going once more into the competitive play with our blue-red Indomitable Creativity Control list. So, without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? And I'll see you there. Alrighty then, two lander and two counters that are castable early, a glimmer. Ooh, if I draw one blue source, this hand is pretty great. Can't get much better than this hand once you actually get another land in it. Other than maybe um, a sweltering suns. I'm going to take it. I feel like I can't really be punished too much since I've got two draws before it really matters. Okay. My opponent deciding whether or not he wants to keep his seven. We're just going to float our wonderful, wonderful art mountain. Ah, Christine Choi, you do fine work. You do fine work. All right. Uh, where's the sweltering, sons? Do 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 do. All right, the one matchup where this hand is bad. Creativity. Oh, that's one bad draw. Yeah, we might just have a quick loss here, unfortunately. Depending on how aggressive our opponent ends up being. Soul Scar Mage. Soul Scar Mage. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty then. Land. Alright. There is hope for us yet. Though it is not a blue sauce, so we still cannot do anything with this hand. I just need to get to this Hour of Devastation if I'm not going to be able to disallow anything or get a Sweltering Suns. So a Suns off the top is the only thing I want to see here. Small lands. Alright. Well, Glimmer can get me my fifth land. So if we're not dead, which is 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I mean, Burn Spell off the top is... Is lethal and we have to hour of devastation, which means we have to drop our guard. So, yeah, looks like we've lost. He just needs three points in three cards. Doesn't seem difficult at all, right? All right, well, let's find out. Are his other cards in hand lands, or are we dead? We get to untap this hope. And we're dead. Okay. Well, that's a red deck for you. It is uh, the control deck's bane. Okay, so we want to bring in magma sprays. We want to bring in a braids. We want to bring in essence scatters. We want to go down some very expensive things. Um, <laughs> I mean, what do we go down? Commit to memory seems slow. I could go down a spell swindle, I suppose. And bring down the wizard's retorts a bit, since we've got the essence scatters in here. Um, I do need some spell swindles, because obviously I do need to make some treasures. Other than locust gods, um, locust tokens is the alternative really, so... If I can slap that down, I might just win as it is, but... Let's ch cut out the immortal sun. And... Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I need to keep some counters in for Hazarets and Burn Spells. But I don't need to bring too many. And I guess I'll go down a Glimmer. Maybe cut an Hour of, uh, hour of Devastation hits Hazaret. Just chop down maybe the amount of creatures in our deck. And we've just got to remember that we've got less right there and in fact going for less on the creativity is good because it probably allows us to hold up a disallow so we've just got to remember that we've got five possible targets um let's go down one one hour of devastation i guess it's slow <sighs> one glimmer just one glimmer as long as we're drawing a removal spell we don't really have to have more cards than our opponent i suppose but we will eventually just get ahead. 
This is a really rough matchup, though. Uh, oof. Well, if we had blue mana, it'd be sweet. But at least we have some Sweltering Suns on three. And a backup one as well for if our opponent decides to not overcommit on three and then splooge his hand out on four, then we can just Suns him again. Blue sauce off the top, though, to slow him down a little bit would be nice. Blue sauce off the top, in general, would be nice, so we can actually cast half of our hand. Get out of here. Come on, opponent. You're a red deck. Play faster. Thank you. I'm a control deck. I just did your job twice as fast. You might get out. Right. Carries Ev. Sure. Fire Bluff coming down just in time to be too slow. <laughs> Would have loved that neck there on turn two. Crasher. It's a hasty boy. I'm going to scatter that. And we take three. Probably going to Glimmer next turn. Look for a blue source if we don't draw one off the top. Or more wipes and removal. Memorial. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to go with this plan instead. My opponent is playing quite slowly. I'm going to let this go, because that gives me a better Sweltering Suns. Obviously, I take a bigger hit, but... I also clean up more with my Suns. Okay, oh yeah, we'll go to end step. Just for peace of mind. Braid and Magma Spray. You know what? Sure. It's kind of exactly what I need, and a creativity. Okay, so... I guess we just Suns here, because we're likely to be able to... A Braid or Magma Spray off something off the top here. If it's a Hazare, it's not really going to do anything. Carries Ev. Okay, it's not hasty. So that gets abraded on our turn. We hit our land drops, which is nice. Um, I suppose we hit this on his combat step. It's nice to have disallow, abrade, and magma spray open as well. That likely covers everything in his hand that he can cast this turn. So if he goes to combat, we abrade carry Zev just to avoid the token. Kill you. Got him. Alright, no combat damage this turn. Please pass. That would be amazing. Ooh, he did. Alright, we draw a land. We'll pass. Probably just get lightning struck in the face would be my guess. No? Okay. If it's land and go, that's pretty great, because I'm just going to crack this memorial and draw some extra cards. Which is pretty sweet. We get ahead of our opponent on cards. We're fine on mana. We can cast anything in our deck at this point, other than creativity, but we need the spell swindle for that anyway. It's going to be a little difficult getting all of the tokens for the spell swindle because he is very low to the ground as well which makes me feel a little bit better about cutting some of our uh, wing con creatures since we're not really going to be able to hit five or seven very often cutting them down to what i actually want to hit more often then makes it a little bit better an immortal sun was an abrade target and i'm just not interested in getting abraded I'm assuming my opponent's contemplating striking me in the face, or shocking me, or lightning me. Ooh, spell swindle. All right. Now we look to be in a fantastic position. If my opponent hazards this turn, we win next turn. So let's just wait our wait out for that. We got plenty of removal. 
Win con, big counter spell. For big spell. Up to seven mana. Interesting. Just passes. Alright, well, I can play this game all day, opponent. Um, I mean, I might as well just dump the creativity and keep the Swallowing Suns in hand. He's going to find out eventually. If I'm going to win, then he's going to find out this creativity is a card, so... Might as well just dump it from hand size and keep the more important Swallowing Suns in hand. Unless, of course, he gives me a reason not to discard with one of his four little gems in hand. Nope. Okay. Goodbye, creativity. Soul Scar Mage. Chop. So we can Magma Spray it, but he'll probably strike me in response. What I could do instead is Sweltering Sun, so he needs to do double spells. So Sweltering Suns. Does drop the Spell Swindle, but it shouldn't be a problem, because my opponent's got four cards in hand, so he probably doesn't drop... Hazaret, and even if he does, we have the Disallow. Just lets it go. Interesting. I really don't know what my opponent's got. Hot Garbage would be my guess, if he's playing like this, because the worst thing you should do against a control player is give me no reason to cast anything. Um, so that's a Locust God with Magma Spray open. I don't know if I'm interested in that. I think I might just pass. It's possible he's just holding out for um, Banefire. Might have to concern myself with that, but I mean, he's just given me three counters for the Indomitable Creativity here, so that's going to be the win. Okay, land. Harness lightning. Okay, well. Creativity X3. One, two, three. Colorless, colorless, whatever. So hopefully we don't... Well, actually we can't hit the other Locust God. So we're going to hit two um, Gear Hulks and a Locust God here. Yep. So that um, Bane Fire of his that he's waiting on, he's going to need that. Let's see if he takes the damage. He lets us draw. Okay. So we get some Locusts. And he scoops it up. All right. That went very well. I think he realized that it might not be a hard lock. But it's as good as losing. Okay, uh, that went really well. Do I want to change anything? Especially being on the draw now. I don't think so. I think we had it covered. I mean, I really do like the idea of more glimmers. But I just don't know where I'd fit them in. Because I do need the double hour of devastation. For Chandra's and for Hazaret's that might get through. And obviously the removal is just as good as a counter spell, so all of these just hit everything that he's got. I think I'll just run it back. Let's see what we can do. There is, of course, always the chance that we just get aggroed out and lose here, which is, you know, just red deck things. Ugh. Ugh. No, that's getting mulled. This one's almost just as bad, but I think I take this with the scry. Any land is good. 
And that's the land. Okay. So we have the harness lightning. Which should slow him down a wee bit. I would have preferred it to be a blue manor, of course, but... Ooh, classic red deck. Earthshakers. Blue. That is blue. Alright. That's the turn. This Harness Lightning is going to actually enable the energy on Ether Hub for quite some time, so I don't really have to worry about that. Uh, I think I just take out the three damage instead of killing the two. So let's counter that on cr Crasher. Achavaraska. Alright, we're getting all of the inappropriate lands. Good to know. Uh, Alright, that's probably the game. She's going to get out of Hour of Devastation range real quick, sadly for us. And I'm not sure there's much we can do about that, except for maybe, like, hope that she ults and we have the Disallow open at the time. Well, we very well could have. Creativity, unfortunately, only hits artifacts and creatures. I can't target Chandra with that. I'm going to take out this Crasher. Save the energy on this ether hub for the other disallow if I don't draw blue mana anyway. It's got to save it for Chandra. This is gonna hurt. Four mana into Hazaret. Oh. My god, it couldn't get worse. And there's the blue mana. Problem is, it's destroy. And she's indestructible. So, G, G. Carry Zev. Yep, gotta let it go. Shane Weller. Gotta let it go. I just can't win on anything less than an hour of devastation right here. And even yeah. then, You're going down. we're just dead. So, you know. Sweltering suns. Close, but no cigar. Alright, well, it won't do enough, so let's just cycle and see what we would have drawn. Um, that one doesn't really matter. An island, okay. GG opponent, that's, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Here comes the Bomac Courier. Yeah, this deck does have a little bit of an issue with control when it's just pushing through stuff. I mean, game two, you can see the amount of early game removal that we have to push in, but we have to cut a lot of pretty key cards. Screw you upon him. A lot of pretty, pretty key cards to make that actually happen. So we're always going to lose to a deck like this. Unless we get like really lucky in the second game, which we did, and our opponent seemed to have complete garbage in his hand. Don't really know um, what he could have possibly had there, but if he had playables, it was certainly in his best interest to actually play them. I assume he was just digging for uh, Banefire, which you should also keep in mind that you cannot counter, so you have to win before that turns up in your opponent's hand. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. It's a bit of a short one, but that is the nature of aggro. If you did enjoy the particular video, then be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a great deal. Sharing the video does the same, gets new viewers in, and grows the channel in that sense. If you want to support the channel a little bit further as well, I do have a Patreon and a Twitch channel. If you subscribe to the Twitch or donate on Patreon, anything at all on either of those is enough to get you access to the Patreon feed or the Discord, and I'll post a fourth video of every single deck that I play um, as a weekly deck series each week, so you get access to the full backlog of everything that I've ever played, so if that's something that interests you and you want to support the channel, go right ahead. It's completely optional. I just really appreciate the viewers that have turned up for this video as well, so whatever support you choose. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.